the little girl gets to Qatar and she has a cast on every one of her limbs. So she's going through physical therapy to just, I'm gonna start crying again. She's going through physical therapy to just walk again, right? And Dr. Shema becomes like a surrogate mother to her, essentially, as she's going through this treatment. And when she gets there, there's all these other children who are also parentless and don't have anybody to care for them, but because she's trained in psychology, she's able to help some of the counseling, and, and even though she's had her intense, intense loss. I'm telling you, I didn't even recognize, it's not like somebody who's sad or depressed or e something you can see visibly. They're not saying anything, but they're vis No, she's smiling to the point that I thought she was just another conference attendee, like another sister like me and you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And so we asked her and we said, when the sister asked her, how, like, <laughs> Like, how are you still telling this story like this? And she said in Arabic, and I'll try to translate to the best of my ability, but she said, um, Allah rabat ala qalbi. The literal translation is, Allah has tied over my heart. Or we would say, colloquially, Allah is holding me. You understand that Allah is al mu'min the one who's going to give you safety and security even when everything is falling down and being destroyed around you. Even when everything is crumbled around you. 